right, so today we're going to learn how to generate two patterns and take those two patterns and find corresponding terms. And then take the corresponding terms and transfer those into ordered pairs and graph them, okay? So that seems like a lot, but it's all gonna fall into place, all right? So let's look at the very first pattern and let's put our X here. And the second pattern is gonna be Y. We'll go ahead and get it in place and we'll show how to do these two patterns. The first pattern is X. It says it starts at two and the rule we're gonna, going to follow is add three. So two plus three is five. Five plus three is eight. 8 plus 3, 11, and 11 plus 3 is 14. Okay, so here is pattern X. Now let's look at pattern Y. It says it starts at 3, and the rule is add 2. All right, plus 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 2 is 11. Now, the cool thing about this, and it's really super easy, is each one of these sets of numbers correspond, okay? So these are the first terms, this is the second term, the third, the fourth, and the fifth term. And each one of these is a set of numbers that line up, okay? Because of the numerical order. Now, this particular set of numbers is a course, they are, these are corresponding terms and they form an ordered pair two comma three that can be graphed. So let's do that now. So start at the origin and go over, because this is always the X and this is the Y, go over two and go up three. One, two, three. All right, so here is two, three. The next corresponding term is 5, 5, and we can make an ordered pair, 5, 5, start at the origin, 5, and go up 5, and place it on the graph, 5, 5. The third ordered pair, or the third corresponding terms that we make an ordered pair is 8, 7, okay? And be very careful with this one because it's very, um, I guess a common mistake a student could make would be to go over seven and up eight instead of going over eight. So because this is your X axis, you always go over that amount first. So we're gonna go over eight and go up seven, which is right here, okay, eight, seven. Now, if we had have done this incorrectly, seven, eight would be close by, wouldn't it? Okay, but that would be incorrect. The next corresponding terms would be 11, nine, and we're going to go over 11 and up nine, okay? And that is 11, nine. And the last one, 14, 11. Okay, so over 14 and up to 11. 14, 11. Now you can see that this could continue on and on, right? We could have continued these pattern, this pattern um, several number. I mean, on and on and on but I only had so much graph and then we would be up in the sky, right? So this, um, but this is a really good um, uh, way to just show you how that these patterns do correspond and the ordered, we can make ordered pairs and then we can put them on a graph, all right? Ready for another one? Okay. Okay, so on this example, we're going to work it going horizontally and we are going to determine what the relationship is between X and Y once we have the two patterns uh, completed. All right, so let's put our X and our Y, but let's draw it out this way. We could do it 
vertically, but let's just try it this way. And sometimes you even see them in a box, okay? So, you know, you can just kind of get used to seeing them look, looking in a different way, but it really means the same thing. All right, so it says the pattern X starts at zero, and it says add three, okay? So let's add three. Zero plus three is zero. Three plus three, six. Six plus three, nine. Nine plus three, 12. And let's stop it right there. All right, so now let's look at the pattern for Y. It says start at zero and add six. Zero plus six, six. Six plus six, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 plus 6, 24. Okay? I'm going to answer the question, what is the relationship between the X and the Y patterns? So let's take um, 3 and 6. You can see that 6 is twice the amount that 3 is. 12 is twice the amount of 6. 18 is twice the amount. 24 is twice the amount. So to answer this question, X or uh, y, excuse me, y is twice the amount of x. Now, if the question said to graph the third corresponding term, you could do that because this is your first one, your second one, and here's your third corresponding term. And you could totally graph that. And here it is, 6, 12. Now, here is where you need to be careful because you're turning this into an ordered pair. And you have to remember that the six is the X pattern and the 12 is the Y pattern, okay? And you always write it, the X is first and then the Y. It's like ABC order, you know, X, Y, Z. So X is first and then Y. So go over six. Okay, and then go up to 12, all right? And this would be 6, 12. If you were to, you know, have an... Okay, so we have a question, and the question is, circle the ordered pairs that could be formed by the corresponding terms in the two patterns, okay? And we're given pattern M and pattern N. So or we're given the rule for this and we're told where it starts. So we're gonna have to generate this pattern in order to find the corresponding terms in order to answer this ABCD question, okay? So let's go ahead and generate the pattern. Now, here's where I've had students that want to try to do this in their head and it doesn't work out well for them. You have to write these patterns out. So pattern M, start at six, and the rule is times two. Okay, six times two is 12. 12 times two is 24. 24 times two, 48. And 48 times two is 96. Now, why am I stopping at 96? Well, because I'm looking over here and I'm noticing that the numbers don't go larger than 96. So, of course, I could continue the pattern, but there's no need to continue because there's no numbers larger than that. Okay? Pattern N starts at 5, and the rule is add 8. All right? So, 5 plus 8 is 13, and 13 plus 8 is 21 plus eight, 29, and then plus eight is 37. Okay, now here are the corresponding terms, six and five, 12 and 13, 24 and 21, 48 and 29, and 96 and 37. And these can form ordered pairs. Okay, so now let's look at the answer choices. Five, six. This is a student, this will be a likely error for a student to choose because they see the five and the six and they say, okay, five and six, they match up. 
but this is for the x-axis and this is for the y. So these are reversed. So this is not an answer choice. It would have to be 6 and then 5, okay? What about 9637? Do you see that? Those corresponding numbers, 9637, and it's in the correct order, isn't it? Okay, so here is an answer choice. What about 1213? 1213, and it's in the correct order. So here we go again. There's another choice. What about 2429? 24 and 29 are numbers, but they don't even correspond. This is the 1, 2, 3rd term, and the 29 is in the 1, 2, 3, 4th term. So they don't even match up. So that's just an eye trick, okay? If you're trying to do it in your head and you didn't write it out, you might choose that one. But this is not correct, all right? And then 48, 29, 48, 29, and it is in the correct X, Y format. So here's another answer choice. So B, C, and E, okay? So write those patterns out, all right? I'm talking too much. You always talk too much. It's just your style. <laughs> it's just my style. <laughs> <laughs>